Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, just simply click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue. Now just wait, just simply search for the Kubernetes cluster and click over here. And just wait, the page will reload over here. Now what we have to do, just simply click on this three dot, then click on this connect and then click on this run in cloud shell. Let me just adjust the cloud shell. Click on continue. Wait for a second. And then click on got it and one command is already created for you just hit enter okay now click on authorize now again just simply come on the task number two because we are done with the task number one now just copy this command and run over here now this command is going to take a couple of seconds to execute so just wait for that and it's finally done now just simply scroll down copy the second command run over here then copy this third command run over here then copy this fourth command and just wait for this command get execute and run over here but for the point number five this command is not properly loaded so i already created the command for you command number one and command number two you can just find this command in the description box so what you have to do just copy this first command okay and paste over here and once you run this command you will get one token which we need in next command so instead of this command you have to use my command now come on the point number six copy this command run over here and now just let me just increase the text size for you okay now just copy this token id okay just hit enter and just copy this token id and just paste over here and hit enter the token id will not visible for you okay so just make sure of that you pop properly copy the token id once you're done with this now just simply come over here copy this command run over here scroll down now copy this command just wait for this command get execute and it's done now run this command now this command is going to take a couple of minutes to give the external ip meanwhile just simply search for the vm instance and open this thing in new tab come back over here wait for a second now here we need a external ip for that click on this bar then scroll down and then click on this checkbox of external ip and click on ok now what you have to do we have to just open this Jenkins and juice shop so just click on ssh and again click on this juice shop ssh okay so it's done now just go back to your kubernetes and let's see and as you can see we are able to get external ip now just copy this external ip go back to your notepad and just paste that external ip over here like this now what you have to do just simply scroll down and if you want you can just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number three here please pay attention guys copy this command go back to your notepad paste over here now we need an external ip of kali so just go to via your vm instance now here you can see kali so just simply hover over here and you are able to copy this external ip make the changes carefully like this then copy this command go back to your cloud shell and just press ctrl c to terminate this and run this command just wait it's asking do you want to continue just type yes and whenever it's asking for the password just simply type k a l i kali in small letters if you just go back to the lab instructions from here you can just cross verify okay so we are done with this now copy this command go back to your notepad make the changes now here we have to use this external ip copy this just select from here till here please make the changes carefully otherwise you will get an unnecessary error now just copy this command run over here okay as you can see we got output like okay now again run these two commands over here if you get click on this retry no need to worry about this it's happened sometime So it's done now run this command now go back to your second and Jenkins vm and run the command over here and we are done with this task okay so we are done with all these things now please pay attention 
let me just zoom in for, for you copy from here till 8083 do not copy that full stop okay just copy like this go back to your notepad make the changes then copy this external ip then copy from here till here like this and paste and your command must look like this now just copy this open a new tab and paste this command just wait click on this advance click on this proceed okay now just wait now just go back to the lab instructions it asking for the username so just copy this username paste over here then copy the password and paste over here like this okay so we have done with this task also now what we have to do we have to again need a token so instead of using this key just come on come over here and use this command number two so just copy this command go back to your cluster oh, click on this plus icon just wait and run the command over here just wait and you will get one license key copy this license key carefully if you make any changes or if you make any mistake you won't get a success message if you just paste the license key over here and click on register you will get unnecessary error if you not properly paste the license key uh, if you do you will get this kind of output so we have done with this task as well now we have to just do the task number four basically what we have to do click on this manage option then click on this defenders then click on this name wait for a second click on this click to add it will reload the page click on this advance click on this process and once you click on this proceed just wait and let's see so it's done now click on this deploy option and here please pay attention because many of you guys are going to make a mistake over here from here choose your external ip okay you have to choose your external ip from here you have to choose the host defender linux like this now copy this command come back to your this choose shop vm paste over here okay then go back to your jenkins vm paste over here okay and then go back to your kali like this and just paste over here now when once you paste the command over here is ask for the password so just again type k a l i in small letters and you are done with this so if you just simply come back to her over here and so we have done with all this task okay we have done with all this if you just simply click on check my progress we will get a score without any issue and if you face this kind of error no need to worry about that just refresh the page and as you can see i got a score for task number four without any issue now let me just come on the task number four and if i just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress i will get a score without any issue now no need to perform task number five and task number six just simply come on the task number seven and here what we have to do just simply go back to prisma then click on this defend then click on this runtime okay then click on this host policy and then click on this add rule for the rule what you have to do just simply scroll down copy this name carefully paste over here like this now here just click over here and you are able to see all these three hosts just choose one host at a time like this okay so we are done with this now just simply scroll down now what you have to do just simply click on this proceed then scroll down then choose the prevent and here you can see prevent process just simply type ls and hit enter so we have done with this now click on this networking option scroll down enable this dns then choose a prevent now for the prevent domain what you have to do is just simply scroll down copy this thing carefully and paste over here and hit enter like this and then just simply click on save so we have done with all this task okay now if we just go back to your kubernetes and here we already log into Kali. So what you have to do, just simply scroll down, copy this fourth number command and run over here. And we got the output. Now again scroll down, just go to monitor and events. So just come over here, click on this monitor and then click on this event. Just wait and if you can see host audits. When you are able to see some host audit over here, just no need to perform all this stuff just sim simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue when you see the host audit okay it will take a couple of minutes to update the score so just wait do not move forward with the without getting a score over here because you might face unnecessary error so just wait and as you can see i got some output now if i just just wait and i will get a score over here and as you can see i got a score and that's the way we have to complete this task number eight now for the last task what you have to do 
just simply scroll down and just copy this name carefully okay do not copy that inverted comma just copy this then go back to your prisma then defend then click on this run time okay again host policy click on this add rule paste the name over here like this okay so we are done with this now just simply scroll down no need to do all this thing just copy this thing click on this log and here you can see add log path just paste the path over here now for the exception just copy this mozilla and paste over here and hit enter like this and once you click on this you are able to get a add rule just simply click over here and you are done with this so we are done with this thing now what you have to do please pay attention guys first of all click on save once you click on save we have to do this task just copy from here till here open a new tab and we need an external IP of juice shop so just go back to VM instance and here you can see juice shop just copy this external IP come back over here and paste and hit enter just wait and once you get this kind of output like this so we can just move forward to the next task now what we have to do is just copy this command and where we have to run this command on juice shop so just come back to the SSH of juice shop and from here you can just cross verify so this is a juice shop VM paste the command over here and we are done okay so we are done with this task now again scroll down and now again we have to add one rule so just simply scroll down and here just copy this docker name go back to your prisma click on this add rule then paste the name over here as you can see then click on this activities then click on this docker command and enable it then click on this checkbox so we are done with this just simply click on save so it's done now please pay attention what we have to do just copy this command and where we have to run on Jenkins VM so just come over here so this is a Jenkins VM just paste the command over here and we are done with this task also now just simply scroll down copy this etc again go back to the prisma again click on this add rule I can paste the name over here like this then click on this files and here just simply click on this add rule and scroll down a little bit and here just type forward slash etc okay then click on this three checkbox for write, write read and metadata like this okay scroll down and click on this add files and you are done okay just simply click on save and you're done we are done with all these things now what we have to do just copy this thing carefully and this is a very important task so just copy that go back to your Jenkins VM and run the command over here and once you run this command just wait and we are in this nano editor please pay attention copy this thing carefully let me just zoom in for you copy from here till here like this and here just make the changes and it might be little bit laggy for you also so just be very careful with that and paste like this make sure your nano editor must look like this now how to save Control x shift y and hit enter and we are done with this task also if I just come over here you can see they already mentioned and once you save the file if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day